Hello there, my name is Joshua Derricks, and uh, this is my full video on a PC disassemble and reassemble for my computer engineering class. So if I, I'm just going to be basically talking over the full experience of the disassemble and the reassemble. So the first part and most important part of the disassemble and reassemble is safety, of course. So I am taking my anti-static wristband, which is what you just saw me take out of my safety kit right there, and sticking it basically at the bottom of these tables. There's like a nice long piece of metal going across the entire table. So I just stick it on that bare metal, which there's no paint, very important. That way then I am neutralized, I guess. And the reason why um, we use anti-static wristbands is because anti-static discharges uh, of, you know, like, for example, when you touch a doorknob after rubbing your feet on carpet, um, you can have a bit of a static, you know, like a static shock. And these types of static shocks can be harmful to various computer components like CPUs, RAMs, etc. So I guess right here, I'm asking for help to get the case off. I forget how to. We'll just skip forward. Oh, that was a little too far. So, um, my good friend whose name's also Josh, easily shows me how to take off the PC case. Yeah, kind of felt dumb in that moment. But, so we get the, we get the lid off, and you can see it's a very compact PC compared to like modern gaming PCs per se. So the first step is what I personally like to do. I'm just showing off the PC to the camera, getting the camera a little bit closer. But here you can see there's a little bit of a spaghetti all these cables so you can see me going right into it I am taking out so right there that is the power supply that I just pulled back so I'm just taking out all the cables so those are um, these cables power basically the uh, DVD drive and the hard drive so yeah basically just ripping out cables out of the takes a while. Yeah. Right now I'm just finicking with the hard uh, DVD drive. Just taking out whatever is like most accessible out of the PC, making sure to obviously be careful with these PC components. They are fragile and it is school property and we want to make sure that the next students after of us obviously can also use them and, you know, deassemble and reassemble them. So pulling out this um, power supply, it's kind of tricky. Uh, there are four pins on the side of them and you kind of pull it back, and then you lift it up and out. So there I got it out. Um, now I'm taking out, it looks like the hard drive. Uh, there is a plastic little lever, I guess, that you can just pull out, uh, pull and then lift out the hard drive. So, there we go. Now I move towards the um, DVD drive. Uh, I'll talk about a bit, little bit uh, of the function of all the components while it's a very long video, so I'll fill it up by talking about the different components. So the power supply in the name, the power supply powers the PC, so it takes the electricity from the wall outlet and it basically makes, turns that electricity into usable electricity um, that the PC can use. So. For example, when you think about when you charge your phone, right, you got that wall brick that you stick into the wall and then you stick your little phone, iPhone charger into that wall brick. That's basically the power supply. Um, it, it takes the electricity down to a usable voltage from, you know, the standard wall outlet voltage. And then the next component I would like that I took out and like to talk about would be the hard drive. So the hard drive is the long-term storage of the computer. It stores 
all of your files. So for example, if you had your Word documents, your school presentations. Um, in fact, this video that I'm recording right now is getting stored on my PC's hard drive. Um, so the hard drive is the long-term storage. It's a, a lot of people know what a hard drive is. I don't really have to explain it. So going back to what I'm doing right now on the build, uh, on disassembling this computer, I so there are these four screws on the side of the DVD drive, which basically hold it to this, um, I guess, this little thingy. That's not a really good explanation. This... I don't know, a thing that flips up and down, right? It, it's just, it, the reason why it flips up and down is so that you can easily access the rest of the PC, but there are four screws. I'm taking out one of them right there. Uh, one just balances the PC, but it basically stops your DVD drive from being able to pull out. I'd be, uh, basically keeps your DVD drive in place. And the purpose of the DVD drive um, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It reads DVDs. Uh, yeah. Actually, on this PC, later after this recording, I actually used the DVD drive, put in a CD of Linux uh, Mint, and downloaded Linux with a dual boot with Windows. So yeah, DVD drives are cool. They're pretty rare nowadays. I actually end up calling for my friend, so I couldn't figure out how to take it out. You actually have to take off this front plate right here. You see that, this thing? Okay, let me speed it forward. Oh, well, you can see it. Yeah, this is cool. Great guy, help me out. There we go, we figured out how to get a pop of that. There you go. And now the DVD drive pops right out. There we go, that's how it looks. Okay, so next up, I am taking out the whole fan system, which kind of hooks up to the CPU cooler, helps keep the PC very nice and cool. Uh, there it is, it has a little bit of a plastic housing, to like kind of funnel the hot air out of the PC. Um, actually, fun fact, this is the second time that I disassembled the PC, the first time. Uh, I just disassembled it just to, you know, get a feel for the PC and then before making a finalized video of me disassembling the whole thing. But the first time when I disassembled the PC, it was disgusting. The amount of like dust and buildup on this PC, like especially at the fan and the CPU cooler, it was gross. I actually ended up taking some of the components to the tech workshop um, where they have a vacuum and I vacuumed up all of the dust that was trapped in all the components. Really gross. I also used baby wipes to, uh, alcohol baby wipes to get rid of a lot of the dust. So. Right now, I'm just unscrewing the CPU cooler, as you can see, I got it out. Um, it's a really cool trinket, so it's basically very conducted metal that, um, I guess, gets pinned onto the CPU. CPU gets really hot because there's so much electricity going through it. Um, the CPU cooler, big massive thing of, I guess, metal plates, vertical plates that basically conduct the heat upwards, and then you got fans that suck the heat out. So right now I am pulling out the RAM sticks, two little RAM sticks. Very important, you can see me putting the RAM into the anti-static bag. RAM is very prone to uh, getting destroyed by anti-static discharges. And I guess the purpose of RAM is, um, is your short-term memory. So Anything, for example, if you were to open up uh, Google Chrome onto your onto your browser, right? Like open up, you know, your Chrome app. It it's all of its data would be stored into those RAM sticks. So, but the thing about RAM is, unlike the long term memory, the hard drive, RAM doesn't have as much storage.
but it's super fast. So it can like, it can access data and like variables and all that stuff and like run your programs super quickly. That's why we only use it as a short term memory. We don't actually store any of your files on it. So RAM is really cool. So right here, um, it's hard to tell because of the camera angle, but I'm slowly unscrewing all of the pieces of the hard drive. Uh, no, sorry, not the hard drive, of the motherboard. I'll take a minute, I'll honestly speed it up. Yeah, so all the little screws. Oh, here I am taking out, what port is this? Uh, this is the parallel port, so I took it out, it's gone. Um, but yeah. So unscrewing the motherboard takes a while. There's like, I think seven screws. Finally, I can like weasel it out. There we go. Motherboard again, um, prone to be damaged by anti-static discharges. So, you know, store it safely. It won't fit in an anti-static bag. Usually you just want to put it on a nice metal surface. Keep it safe. Motherboards are very expensive. Um, and, oh, I guess we should talk about the purpose of the motherboard. Um, the motherboard is like the nervous system of the PC. Oh, I just took out ports. Okay, back to uh, the motherboard. It basically like connects all the different components of the PC together. And it basically allows the CPU to talk to the GPU, the GPU to talk to the... RAM basically connects them all as like, it's it's kind of like, hmm, it, a good analogy would be calling it the nervous system, but it basically houses and let, lets, the, lets the components all talk to each other. It, it's not a good explanation, but yeah. Um, so now I'm basically done gutting the whole PC. It's, I think that's, that's it. I think that's just the empty case right there. Um, there you go, the case. What's the purpose of the case? It houses all the PC in a nice safe box. There you go. Yeah, completely empty, not a single thing left in there. Did it in about like 15 minutes. So you can, you can like reassemble, you can disassemble really quickly. So now I just start the reassembly process. That's the jump start battery. Kind of jumps up the PC. Like boots up, like, I think that's what it's for. It, it like, it's like a little battery right there. It boots up the PC when needed. So the reassembly takes a lot longer, so I'm just going to speed through it. Counting up, screwing it in takes a while. Um, now I move on to the ports. This is like your front facing ports. Um, really, you really want to focus on cable management for a PC like this, or else then your cables will become spaghetti. So you want to make sure you put them, put put your cables through the right slot in the PC. So let's see. Um, I got the ports in. Now moving on to the motherboard. I'm just gonna slide it right into the PC. There we go. And I think I start screwing all of the um, screws back into the motherboard. There we go. I think I dropped the screw in this moment, turned on my flashlight to try to find it. Um, oh, also a very important thing to talk about would be the CPU and the GPU. So let's first talk about the CPU. So CPU stands for um, the central processing unit. And this is where basically your computer does all of its computation, so all of its math, runs its program all off the CPU. It's it's kind of like the brains of the computer, if that kind of makes sense. And it it's like this tiny, it's almost like a chip. It's like this, this big, I'd say. Uh, and it sticks right into the motherboard. Gets really hot, we need a CPU cooler. 
And now the GPU, or the graphics card, um, produces all of the graphics you see on the screen. So although the CPU can also produce graphics, GPU, GPUs are specifically designed to produce graphics, which makes them really good at it. So for example, in YouTube, right, your YouTube video player is going to rely on your GPU to create the, I don't know, 4K, 1080p video that you are watching, which is really cool. Anyways, back to the build. This is kind of boring. Oh, dropped it. We're just going to skip forward. So, oh, got the CPU cooler on. I think I put it on the wrong way. Yeah. So now getting the fans back in. So, let's see. There we go. Now putting the RAM sticks back into the PC. Awesome. Now putting the DVD drive, screwing it back in. Really close to completion. All in. Yeah, so I put in the CPU cooler the wrong way. There's like these two little um, prongs that come out here that get in the way, and they have to be on the other side, so I'm unscrewing it. So class is basically over. So we can move on to the next video. one right here so again putting on my safety stuff the safety glasses and safety anti-static wristband I'm gonna skip through all this so here I'm just flipping the CPU cooler that I put on the wrong way stuff like that happens it's not gonna kill the PC it's just I guess make sure everything's put back the right way I get that on. Um, not sure what I'm doing here. Doing something apparently. Can't see because this thing's perfectly blocking it. Okay, putting on the lid, this uh, the lid for the CPU cooler. Um, it basically funnels the hot air from the CPU cooler to the fan right here. That kind of makes sense. Hope it does. There we go. Okay, I think let's back up. Sorry. Okay, now I'm putting in the hard drive as you can see. Yeah, basically putting everything back into its designated spot. Fast forward. Now putting back the power supply. You got to get the four prongs in, and then it'll. The, sorry, power supply. So like down, down below here, there's gonna be like four little. I guess prongs that stick out and then slide into these little trenches in the side of the PC. If that makes sense. Once it locks in, you're good. So making sure everything's in right. Always want to double check that you're putting stuff in right. Don't want to fry the PC. That would be very bad. So right now I'm plugging um, the USB ports back in. You can see all these. I got, so basically at this point, I got all the cables, you know, all the components into the PC. But now it just comes down to connecting up all the cables. Which is a bit of a tedious task. And it may seem like very overwhelming of which cable goes where, but um, the motherboard, like, it's, it's hard to say. It's very self-explanatory in the sense that the motherboard is actually color-coded. So you'll have like an orange cable with an orange port and you just, you know, orange to orange or purple to purple, blue to blue. And a lot of times you can look at the number of prongs and I guess the size of the prongs, and just stick it into the right size, if that kind of makes sense. Obviously, still knowing what you do, it's not child's play, it's a PC. Um, but it can be a little bit overwhelming, I guess, plugging in all these ports back in. But if you know what you're doing, you should be all right. Give a little smile. 
So here we go. Oh, it's, oh, it's, someone's presentation was finished. I think my presentation finished, so the video ends. Um, we're going to go to the last video. We're almost done. Yeah, obviously, safety is a very important thing. Um, yeah, so putting on the front piece back onto the PC, putting away all the screws, making sure everything fits right, and double checking. It's always important to double check. There we go, putting on the lid. It's a bit of a tricky, it's kind of tricky to put the lid back on. So there we go, got the lid on, and yeah, PC is fully built. Look at that, like, just like, just like how we started. So I know this might have been a bit of a long video. It looks like it's like 21 minutes long, but thumbs up. We got it done. PC fully built. So I hope I'm not missing anything from uh, this video that you were looking for. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. That was the full PC build. And thanks for watching, I guess.